Uh, nothing. Oh, you're out here. I got this shit for free. You're out here selling ding a lane to get banners. Nah, I don't know if I had a motherfucker come on one of my business shows to show me his appreciation. The nigga's like, hey, make you a little repeated uh, product, uh, pattern or whatever. Nah. Now, uh, yeah, so the nigga sent it to me. And that was what, two years ago? All right, y'all. We tapping in. Y'all already know what it is, what it is, and what it's always gonna be. Now, in case you've been living under a rock these last couple days, real hip hop is back. Yeah. Okay. Real hip, real hip hop is back. DC <laughs> hip hop is back, man. It's in the upswing now, man. How, how how you feeling about everything that has transpired the last two weeks, man? Like it's been was, a lot of shit happening in the music world right now. I was cool until J. Cole went Gandhi. <laughs> Y'all better get up off my man Cole, man. Listen. I'm just saying, like, you can't be out here going at a nigga and then feel bad later. That's like a nigga hitting you going across the middle and you be like, you apologize to him for hitting you. I'm sorry I was in your way when you was trying to cross the middle. My I bad. Mean, I mean, let's let's keep it a buck. This is J. Cole. We don't, when we think of J. Cole, we don't think of J. Cole as a battle rapper. Okay? Drake so, ain't a battle rapper. Huh? Drake ain't a battle rapper. Drake is definitely a battle rapper. Well, you gotta think about how many battles Drake has been in. Okay. He he's not a URL, URLer, but you know, he does music, he does battles, he he rap battles. He I just don't I, I don't I don't fault J. Cole. I'm gonna tell you why. You ever hit somebody? Okay, your kids, for example. You ever whooped your kids and then apologized afterwards for whooping them because they hurt you deep down inside? You didn't want to have to whoop your kids? No. <laughs> because if they wouldn't have did something for me to have to whoop them, I wouldn't have to whoop them. See, that's the problem. You can't but go. You don't feel bad afterwards because it's your kids. Like, it's no. your kids. <laughs> if you didn't do something for me to have to whoop your ass, I wouldn't have to whoop your ass. Plain and simple. We know this semantics. We're not about to be like, oh, he smacked me in the face. I smack him back. Then I apologize. After the I fact. Have, listen, no. I have definitely had to whoop my kids and then took them for ice cream afterwards. Oh, well, you a J. Cole ass nigga. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what we're going to start calling niggas who do shit like that. You can't have somebody barking in your face and then you bark back and then you apologize after the fact. Why? I'm saying, I'm, listen, the man, the man had a change of heart, man. It's not his. It's uh, not his character to be beefing with people. You should have did it in the first place. You know what I'm saying? So when I think about J. Cole, but let's get to the meat and the potatoes here. Kendrick jumped on somebody else's album and That's threw shots. He's okay. been he there for a while. He did it on uh, what's that Big Sean song? He did it on that. What I'm saying is. Why can't we get a Kendrick Lamar by himself dissing somebody record? Why do you have to jump on other people's shit to bug to get? And why do you have to mention other niggas to get a buzz? Is it because, and listen, J. Cole did not lie. To Pimp a Butterfly was the most slave musicist album I have ever heard in my entire fucking life. So he wasn't wrong. Because I de listen, when I definitely wanted to go to sleep, yes. Play Kendrick Lamar. Play to Pimp a Butterfly. Because I need to go to sleep. Because this ain't it, Chief. It ain't never been it. And he ain't lie. He should have stuck to his guns, though. You but, sound you coming from a place as you sound like a J. Cole apologist. Because you already apologized for the nigga apologizing. Now Kendrick is doing, like, come on, man. This is rap. Like, we're not about to sit up here and act like Kendrick ain't had no nice music. We're not about to act like he, he might not have had a whole album. But shit, I ain't listening to the whole J. Cole album. So Miss, I mean, Miss Marie said, "You never apologize to someone you love and respect." Yes, but I ain't never had to whip their ass first. Is the problem? 
that's that's the that's the that's the crux of the position that we at because Kendrick came at Drake and J. Cole. Facts. And then J. Cole went after Kendrick. And then Facts. two days later, this nigga apologized for coming at this nigga. And then this nigga brought him out on stage. He Kendrick said he got on stage. He said he man, said he he, he succumbed I mean, he succumbed man, to peer pressure, man. Oh, man, peer he pressure. to peer pressure, man. He, was he, he didn't, didn't want to do it. He did, but he did it on his own. It wasn't Drake on the album with him. It was just this nigga by himself. So if he ain't want to do it, he had to do it. <laughs> he said he got a million phone calls. Oh man, I didn't got a million phone calls to do a podcast. And then you know what I did? Went to sleep and they do that podcast. Nigga, ain't no peer pressure. You a grown ass <laughs> man, man. Let's stop making apologize. Then man, we not about to sit up here and do this. Not tonight, dog. We're not about to sit up here and act like this nigga. Nah, that is the Lord now because he's an apologist. Look, I seen a nigga get his, I, seen, I seen a nigga get his ass whooped by my homies, and I apologize on behalf of my homies for that ass whooping. So J. Cole ass nigga. <laughs> like, that. like nigga, I'm not apologizing. Not okay. the next day, no. not two days later, like you know, maybe a month later, we could hash it out as grown men, but no, nah, you're not about to whoop my ass. No. And, and so apologize me, and then I come back and strike you, and then nah, I'm apologizing. So J. Cole apologized. Mm -hmm. And then over the weekend, this leaked Drake record starts circulating. Fire. Okay. And we didn't know because they kept saying, oh man, it sounds like AI. I it's, thought it was. It, at it's, first. Is it real? Is it real? Is it real? Is it real? And then DJ Academics confirmed, yes. Yeah, a real record. I need this something record. besides academics. <laughs> this track record is a little shaky. And he he yeah. he went on to play the mix and mastered version of the record. So we knew we knew it was real. Now Drake had a rebuttal for everything that everybody had been saying about him because not only did Future drop part one, he dropped another album called We Still Don't Trust You. Uh-huh. With more disses. Yeah, but how come we don't get Future? Why, why Future get a pass? Because he jumped on somebody else's album to drink this Drake. What, you know what, you know what I don't, who I don't give a pass for jumping on this shit? J. Cole. Oh, so now J. Cole don't get a pass. Cool. I'm glad no, J. Cole that. don't get a pass for that shit, bro. Cool. I I'm felt that shit was corny as hell in, in my in my honest opinion. Like he they can't just throw you on a record. You have to approve, approve. of this. Yeah, you gotta so, go on the studio and do it. So if you knew that this record was coming out and you was on it, you could have been like, nah. You got to take me up off of this. I don't fuck with y'all. Y'all don't trust me. I don't trust y'all. Take me off this record. But no, man, this album finna drop. I'm finna get paid. Let's go ahead on. I already apologized. I already made peace. Go ahead on. Leave my verse on that, dog. You got it. That's what I can't get down with J. Cole for. Like, like, nigga, they just dished you, nigga. He just let another nigga come on his shit and dish you. And now you want to do a record. You want to allow this shit to happen. Ain't no way, Chief. But Drake dropped. Fire-ass record, by the way. Push-ups. I loved it. I loved it. Push-ups. It's called Push-ups because the nigga went on album and did work. Yeah, he definitely, he definitely did work. But not one to be outdone and not one to wait around. Rick Ross. Oh, my God. We not about to act like Rick Ross <laughs> putting down... Uh, Nah, we not even, not even about to. <laughs> we not even about to give Rick Ross any kind of uh, <laughs> any kind of accolade for that bullshit he dropped. Nah. Now, 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 hold on, because there are some people out here who felt like that Rick Ross record was hot. He, they, 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 they felt the Rick Ross record was hot. Oh, it's 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 subjective. Drake is def Drake is not top five like right now. Drake is top of the game still, regardless. Yes, though, because Drake would be in my top five. Me personally. I, I, if we talk about current rappers, Drake is number one. It's not even close. Okay. Just Again, depends on who you ask because he ain't number one for me, but he up there. I'm saying like 
currently, like current rappers. We ain't talking about Pac and Biggie and all that. We talking like I'm not talking about. I'm talking about current rappers the today. Big yeah. three is Drake, and then it's the other guys. <laughs> A lot of them other guys, though. Shit. <laughs> what what Drake say is he 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 two out of his top three. He two of the big three. <laughs> Yeah, because that nigga took J. Cole out. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, you want to switch up, nigga? Now it's me, me, and Kendrick Lamar. Nigga. I think, I think, no, nah, okay. So, because he said something about SZA being better than Kendrick Lamar, 21 uh, Savage being better than Kendrick SZA Lamar. He did a hot song because he was talking about that uh, one from Black Panther. That's the joint he was referencing. Yeah. And then he said uh, Travis Scott was better than Kendrick Lamar. We ain't going to do no reaching now, Drake. Nah. I, I like all them artists, but I think out of them three, the only ones that I would probably put over Kendrick, I wouldn't put neither one of them over Kendrick. I'm lying. But Kendrick Kendrick ain't ain't no big three to me. I'm sorry. But Rick Ross got in the booth and put in work. Boom, what up? Did he, though? <sighs> White boy. <laughs> that might have been the only thing I heard. Because I ain't heard nobody talking about it. I just heard he went to got a nose job. You got a BBL. <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> yeah, Rick Ross went too fast. He, <laughs> he, got he Is ain't this even what think. we calling this records not? Okay, first of all, listen. Y'all hype, not you, but the world. They hype the shit up out of Pusha T this record. Oh, he said Drake got a kid. Oh, he won. Never said that. Not you, but yeah, that that was the con the the uh the consensus. Of the world. I get it going on. You yeah, know, we also gotta remember these the same niggas who was telling uh like JJ Icefish he was on a, on a, on track to do some shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of people who I like JJ Icefish. Exactly. That's why it's a lot of people. I was just about to say, you see, you, I'm glad you said that before I said I like it. Man, he was he was a lot of motherfuckers who I don't trust who say some shit like that <laughs> when it comes to music. He was an innovator. He no, the fuck he was not. <laughs> what did he innovate? Who else is doing shit that he was doing? Nobody. Exactly. You know why? Because nobody wants to do that shit. I right, so Rick Ross dropped the record. Instantly, like same day we heard about the Drake. That nigga went in there 15 minutes after he heard it. And <laughs> this nigga went in there, didn't warm up or nothing. He ain't stretch or nothing. This nigga just went in there. And the then booth. today, we heard a leaked Kendrick Lamar verse response. And yeah. I got to be completely honest, that shit was trash. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That here's shit my, was trash. Here's my problem. I'm getting tired. If we gonna put this shit out, put this shit out. Let's stop leaking shit and see if it's going like if it, if it, niggas be <laughs> leaking shit to make sure it's hot in the streets. And if it ain't hot in the streets, it never happened. It was AI yeah. or you know somebody hacked my shit and it wasn't the final version. Like either put this shit out or don't put it out at all. I'm getting tired of this shit. Like this shit started like put your name like Herm Edwards said, I, put your name on it. I gotta be honest. I stopped listening to Rick Ross when I found out he was a CEO. I've never been a fan of Rick Ross after that. No matter how many hits he put out, I just couldn't get jiggy with the cop playing a drug dealer. It it just it just didn't sit right with me. I felt like this nigga was lying to me in my face. You know, yeah, it's you like I'm pushing keys and you was pushing motherfucking handcuffs on niggas. That yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. And then on top of that, Drake had a point. Like nigga, every number one record you have, I'm on it. Uh, this is true. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It's, it's in the record books. Like every number one record you have put oh, out, man, you already know that. That's why I don't trust a nigga anyway. Like I, I take music at face value nowadays. Matter of fact, I listen to more R and B than I listen to rap because a lot of these niggas be lying anyway. A lot of these rappers do be lying, but see, I'm see, I listen to a particular kind of rappers. I don't listen to niggas that you know steal big time drug dealers names and then act like it was day life like i can't i can't get with rick ross and then even on his disc record he started talking about marble floors and all this shit and i'm like nigga what the fuck are you talking about as soon as the record come on he start he start talking about marble floors and and high beam ceilings and shit i'm like oh no see and that's 
that's the other problem. Once a nigga get to a certain point, it's like you ain't even rapping about some of the shit you used to rap about. Now you telling me how you got this Versace Gucci wallet and some other shit that niggas ain't really don't really give a fuck about. Yeah, I got yeah. 20 cars in my lot. Ugh, Versace floors and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga, we talking about this is a rap battle, nigga. We don't give a fuck. It's like when when I hear Rick Ross record now, it's like when I used to hear Birdman on records. Okay. The 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 subject was a certain specific thing until Birdman got on the record. Oh my god, Birdman doing shit. And it became something different. No, I'm saying back in the day, Rick Ross rapping now reminds me of Birdman back in the day. Like you would have a hot record and then Birdman gets on there. And he talks about the complete opposite <laughs> of what the song is about. For instance, that song, uh, Tap Out. Don't he got me. on there talking about some crib made a tap out. Nigga, what the fuck are you talking about? This has nothing to do with fucking. Your creep <laughs> has nothing to do with this. So Hold on but, now. Maybe it do because, you know, some chicks see a nice house and get, you know, Niagara Falls out here. Uh, But Danny, no, he can talk about how. See, here's the thing. I ain't saying you can't grow up. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you got to realize when you're growing up, some people don't want to hear that. And then when you do it too much, it just seems like now you bragging. Like, yeah, you got some nice stuff. That's cool. But at the same time, it don't matter. So it's like, yeah, we don't, we don't, we honestly don't give a fuck. If I, if I have to be completely honest, um, I stopped caring about a lot of, a lot of music. And then now these rap battles are bringing me, bringing my interest back. So when Rick Ross dropped, then this Kendrick verse, I got to be honest, I thought it was trash. I thought his verse on Future Album was better than this shit. He talked about how J. Cole apologized and he got rid of one rap and he didn't even have to fire a shot and all this shit. And I thought it was cool. Uh, Until yeah, kind of corny because now it's like, because this nigga, he, this nigga brought him out on stage. So now you talking about how you got rid of him, but you bringing him out on stage and doing handshakes and playing his song. See, that's where I, that's that's where you gotta miss me with that. Like it's just it's just too much. No, when Jay Z do it, I get tired of it too. Like I, I'm a lot. I'm I was a Jay Z fan until this nigga started talking about Basquiat and you know five hundred million dollar paintings. I was like, nigga, you lost me, bro. Like I don't, I ain't got, I don't, I don't really care about none of that. Like I don't. See, my thing is, and I only gonna speak for myself, I don't give a fuck about nobody's luxury items. That's like a nigga saying he got a made back in his driveway, and then he keep talking about that made back and paints and shit. I don't I don't really care. I just came here to, you know, have a good time. I don't give a fuck what you got at home, unless you're trying to get robbed. If I was you, I would shut what they call the fuck up. Because, I mean, why are you talking about this? It feels like bragging after a while. Like, I don't want to hear a nigga brag for 45 minutes on an album. Like, his whole album is him talking about everything he got in his home on different songs. Like, nigga, after a while, mm -hmm. that ain't music no more. Now it's just an IRS catalog. Now you just doing this for insurance purposes. Just yeah. to get your shit get robbed. Remember on track 45, I said I had two paintings in the house. Them two paintings is gone. So you know mm -hmm. I had I talked about them two years ago. Like I don't really give a fuck about none of that. I just want to hear some good music. I, I, I definitely want to hear good they, music. They definitely do that shit nowadays. I, I love, I love you know, a good I, rap battle. I do. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I love a good rap battle because where I'm from. Rap battles become street battles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's good to just see cats get in the booth and rap and put out mediocre diss battles. Yeah, because yeah. because the battles come from you talking about a nigga nose job and all this shit. It's like that's all you can really say at this point. Like you should have left that at home. Yeah. Left that alone. You should have took a little more time to think about it. See, that's the problem. He rushed to judgment. He didn't really think about what he was gonna do. Uh, he just went out there and just was like, fuck it, here's what I got, and hope it worked. Yeah, we have it, not like a good one. I uh, and, that's, and, that's, and that's what I love about music, man. Like, like it's subjective, like you don't, you don't, you know, you like what you like. Because when I got on here, um when I got on here and said, yo, that Rick Ross, uh, that Rick Ross record is trash. 
that Kendrick Lamar record is trash. And it's like everybody got their own opinion about it. And I'm like, yo, it's trash to me. I'm see, music brings different ears to shit. How I listen to a record is not how you gonna listen to a record. So you know what I'm saying no matter no matter who the artist is, I listen the same way. Like, okay, I tell you, and Drake is probably one of my favorite rappers. Drake has put out some mid shit. I'm not gonna sit here and say every record that Drake has ever recorded was fire because it wasn't. Because he had an album where he had like uh techno music or some shit. Uh, so well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Top, I was was on the top or something. The record with his daddy on the front. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck it was, but it wasn't it wasn't something I would sit there and listen to again. Like I listened to it like one time, and I was like, yeah, this ain't it, Chief. So. I think some of this, some of this music is subjective. Some of the music is actually pretty good. But now, what I'm excited about is, I right, everybody fired off their first shots. Everybody, everybody got their first shots out the way. Now, you got to step it up. You can't come the same way. Now, you got to step it up. You got your first shots. Everybody brought they brought. I ain't gonna say everybody brought their a game on the first shot. Okay. So now, Rick Ross, what can Rick Ross do on the next record? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> CL is oh, in the Stranger, look at this motherfucker. Stranger Danger. What? Is about in the Stranger Danger. Don't do that. Yo, I ain't seen you in 50 years. Where the fuck have you been? Oh, you know, I'm outside living. I'm so sorry. Nice to oh, see you. Oh, 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 so we ain't living. Oh, see, there's that's the type of rap bullshit I hit right there. You trying to put us down because you got a little money now. You modeling and shit. Now you outside living. The rest of us niggas just out here, you know, trying to make it. I can do my, my regular job. I've been working. I can read between the lines. I got you. I'm a principal. Don't do that. Oh, now you're a principal, and we just podcasters. Okay, I got you. Oh, I hear the I hear the, I hear the diss in your voice. Hi, DC. Very nice to see you without a hoodie on. Yeah, you know, I've, I haven't worn a hoodie in a year, but you know, you ain't seen me in so long, you know. I actually haven't seen you in so long, but I've been sharing your shit. I've been watching. Mm-hmm. Then you would have been seeing me without a hoodie. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. damn. How your wife doing? I like her a lot better than you. Everybody like her a lot better than me. She pretty, too. You you catfished her. We all know you did. Hell yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I was out here just being myself. <laughs> okay. So, Sia, what up? Am. So, we talking about all this plethora of music that's been going on this weekend, man. How you feeling? How you feeling? How you feeling? Who, who uh, stood, who I stood out to you? Weekend, I don't know. Did you like the Drake record? Did you like the J. Cole record? Did you like the Rick Ross record? I missed a whole lot of that. The only one I heard is um, all I know is about Big Me. That's the only one I heard because everybody kept clipping it. Oh, she's talking about the Kendrick. First yeah. Kendrick. Well, you, you behind. You need to you need to go catch up because you like behind. That oh, was like, she was out living. You know, she was doing normal people shit while we was out here. Uh, yeah. While, while some people was um, hanging I on. I was Instacarting at my dream job. I was working. Great. Can we not say it like that? Cause you know, see, you said that on purpose because you wanted me to say something. But I've, yeah. I've turned over a new leaf this year, and I'm gonna be a, a nicer DC this year. So I'm yeah. not going to say anything. I'm you glad you started doing your job as an answer. You haven't hit me up, DC. I hate when a nigga act funny. I act funny. Hey, hey, try getting CL to show up and rock with Big Smash. I told y'all she been real funny, moving funny with me. You know, she out here, she out here hanging with Boom and shit now. So now she don't I fuck with Smash. Know. Don't you know like what I'm saying? So that's, she don't, that's, that's what that is. She don't fuck with Smash. She out here unveiling things with Boom and shit and, and spinning records and shit over there with DJ Boom and shit. Now, so, Bay, Boom is Bay. Don't disrespect Bay. Boom Bay. Hey, man, I said what I said. God damn it. Uh oh, this record's coming soon. Pop don't make me right, drop no this record. God damn it. <laughs> shit. But hey. I right, look. Enough of the music shit. You know, shout out to Drake, 20 versus one. He doing his thing. He holding his own. That's my boy. 
Everybody else, fuck them. But uh, let's talk about it. I, I feel like talking about this tonight because I got some stories to tell. Jesus. So because you had stories to tell, I was like, I'm going to get my uh, <laughs> rights. Let AKA, me get my one. And hold on. Let me AKA get my one. Tia Mana. <laughs> All right, so look, <laughs> first first one, right, I seen a post about uh, somebody said, if you can't afford to bring no gifts, don't show up to the parties and the baby showers and things like that. Now, the problem that I have with people like that is that, baby, I am the gift. Okay? okay. Presence is the presence. I'm not buying. Yeah, facts. I'm not buying. Listen. It's like a chick that keep having kids. You on your fifth kid. You want us to show up to your your uh, baby shower and support you in your bad decisions because you decide you want to keep fucking and popping babies out. So you want me to take my money. You better recycle the gifts that we gave last year. Mm -hmm. Or the year. Or the year before that, because I'm not finna keep supporting your bad habits. Congratulations! Time, time out, time out, time out. Isn't it wrong to take somebody come to a baby shower as a gift? <laughs> yeah. So let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Somebody invite you to a baby shower. This baby is a baby. This motherfucker don't know his own name, let alone who the fuck is in the room. You show up and be like, "Hey, baby, I'm your gift, nigga." Yo, get the fuck out of here and get his baby a rattle or something, man. Styles, what up? <laughs> okay. five, less first than five all, hours, man. First of all, listen, listen, listen. I got a rule for this shit. Oh, shit. You have two baby showers out of me where I'm going to take the time and go buy you a gift. A boy and the a girl. The third one, you on, your, you on your fucking own, okay? Because I'm not doing it. My sister, and I love her to death, my blood sister, had three kids, three years straight, back to back to back. You know what? <laughs> you better take these last gifts <laughs> and, and pass them on down because I'm not doing this shit again, okay? <laughs> I see why motherfuckers don't invite you nowhere. I see why niggas be like, hey, we having a party. You want to invite Smash? Nah, because he's going to bring himself and no alcohol, but yet still he's going to hang out. Bring gifts, but I always bring alcohol. Anywhere I go, I got a bottle out of respect. So you go to a baby shower without y'all didn't, didn't understand Hell me. Yeah. I could y'all didn't understand me when I said I am the gift. You my are not time, the gift, my time spent coming to this shindig when I could have been doing other and shit. That little baby looking at you like this, not knowing what the fuck or who the fuck you are. That nigga, that little baby bobblehead and looking at you like what the fuck is this? I mean, we're the rattle, we're the you know what I'm saying. I can dig that she, part. She agrees with me. I Shout can, out to her. I can, dig, I can dig passing clothes down, but damn, get a baby a rattle or something. You passing around. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, no, because I'm deaf. Listen, I only come to baby showers and, and birthday parties and party buses and all that shit for the food. I don't come there to politic with y'all. I don't come there to celebrate. I'm in the back where the food at. <laughs> wow. All right. Hey, man, there's one at every party. Fact. Don't bother me. I'm here for the food. I'm here. See, now, that's why I, my parties, I don't provide food, my nigga. Oh, that's okay. I bring my own. Don't worry about it. Nigga, and, you gotta go stay at home. Nigga, what the fuck <laughs> is the point of you coming to my party where there's no food to bring food to eat your food in my kitchen? <laughs> nobody, hold on, hold on. you're not a with nobody. You ain't shaking no hands, dancing with nobody, playing no spades or nothing. Nigga, you in my kitchen eating your food. Okay, look, but I'm the type that will come. To, I'm the type that will come to the gathering. Won't bring shit, but I leave out with like three, four plates because I got a lot of kids to feed. So everybody get so, a plate. So, so you're not gonna bring my kid a gift, but you want to take my food to your kid. You don't keep your punk ass home somewhere, man. The <laughs> fuck up, man. You're not about to come to my house. Get my food to take to your kids, and you ain't bring no gifts or nothing. You ain't bring nothing, nigga. no ice or nothing, nigga. At least bring a bag of ice. Shit, solo cups. Of fun. Nigga, you come empty handed, but don't I'm, leave empty handed. I'm gonna bring, 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 nah, bring some all these pops. Yeah, nah, bro. You might as well keep them watered down, kids. Man, nobody want that, sh that shit. Man, ain't no sugar or nothing in that motherfucker. 
Keep that shit, bro. You might as well stay where your ass is at. Matter of fact, don't even worry about it because I ain't even picking up the phone to call and text your ass. You won't even know. I am like a I am like a big, I'm a real disrespectful person when I come to people's houses. Clearly. Because when y'all tell us to make yourself at home, I, I take that shit to the I heart. Don't, I don't tell nobody to make <laughs> I don't ever tell nobody no shit like that. I was hit you with that. In my I house, think, you, hey, the I way you came in, the, the way you leave it. You jump empty hand, you leave this bitch empty handed, my nigga. They be like, take your shoes off at the door. I'll be like, nah. Oh, man. The motherfuckers start wanna... taking, they, taking their shoes off, they start getting yeah, comfortable. And then they want to get comfortable and start doing shit they ain't supposed to do. I bring, I bring I go on refrigerators. Nah, dog. So I nah. go on refrigerators. Nah. Uh, if, if your upstairs taped off, I'm going upstairs. I look, I'm looking through your shit. I'm a nosy motherfucker. It's like that's why your ass will be outside. That's why I throw parties and them bitches is outside. Anybody coming in my shit just doing all that. Hey, hey, hey. Shit. Nah. hey, and the thing about it is, like, I don't mean no harm, but again, like, it's like both our houses at this point because I'm here. It is no, your house is your house, my house is my house. Nigga. Right. You Again, I'm gonna say this again for the niggas in the back. You come in this bitch empty handed, you leaving this bitch empty handed. Nigga ain't no taking no plates, and you ain't provide nothing but yourself. Nigga, fuck that. Keep your but gift. Your to the 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 out. I mean, what you gonna you, you gonna keep the leftovers? You might yeah, 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 away? Yeah. Yes, I got family too. Nigga, y'all ain't feeding your family, and you ain't paying for shit. Nigga, what I look like spending two hundred dollars and you take fifty home. <laughs> what the fuck kind of shit is that? Nigga, you ain't put in on this, man. But even if they bring a ten dollar gift, hey, you still hey, hey, you get hey, ten dollars hey, worth of food. Hey, hey, Styles, I think my kids got a game coming up in New York sometime down the future. So oh, make shit. sure you roll out the red carpet for your boy to your crib, man. Because you know we all coming. We coming to crash at your crib. All right. <laughs> Good luck with that. Good luck with that. I got a guest bathroom <laughs> with one ply toilet paper, nigga. That's okay. We bring our own toilet paper. You keep your ass at home. See, if you got to bring shit to my house, <laughs> you got to stay home. Because that shit sounds like you'd rather be at home. <laughs> right. That's what it sounds like. You know what I mean? Like you showing up. You got to prepare yourself for emergencies, man. Or, or you can stay at home and there won't be an emergency. You might not have the soft tissue that I like. So I'm going to bring my own. What's the problem? <laughs> That shit is weird as fuck. It ain't wasting your tissue, so what's the problem? If a nigga walking in my house with a roll of toilet paper, I'm telling him he can use that shit outside. Don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> it just seems weird to me. Don't come to my house. I mean, that, I that will use the like, outside like, on your lawn. I have no problem. It's your lawn. You're going to clean it, bro. I ain't got to clean shit. <laughs> but what you ain't going to do is start bringing shit to my house and making yourself feel comfortable. I bring my own silverware. I bring my own cup. Hey. Hey, bro, you might as well bring the table, take that bitch out in the yard, and just have a good day. At least you know I don't leave no mess. You know what I'm saying? Because I bring my own shit. I can dig it. You can't be trusting everybody cooking and shit, man. So I bring my own seasonings and shit. I I'm prepared. Hey, fast, 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 fast. You know how we can alleviate all this and you ain't got to worry about carrying that big-ass Dorting for a book bag? Just stay your ass at home. We ain't even got to go through all this. But I like to show my face to my people. Hey, they got FaceTime for that. They make FaceTime for that exact reason right there. Motherfuckers like you, FaceTime was made for. Because you want to show your face. Hey, everybody, look, Smash, is, Smash said, hey, everybody. And then we sit the fuck down and have a good time. Yeah, just, man, oh. listen, listen. Family reunions and shit, they don't too much invite me. I see why. I can see, I can <laughs> see why. I'm starting to wonder. I was wondering, like, damn, this family don't like them. Why is that? I see why. This is the exact moment where I found out why they don't fucking like you. I see it. I can dig it. No matter well, what, that, 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 and I come with a lot of kids. So when you tell me to make myself at home, you telling my kids to make. So that's a, at let me ask you a question: When you had baby showers, because you got twenty two kids, you had twenty two showers. Did motherfuckers bring you gifts? I've never had a baby shower. Oh, you wasn't invited to the baby shower. No, All right. no, no. None of my children have had baby showers. Like, you know, we we handle shit on our own. You know, shout out to the ones that did what they did, but. I didn't want the big fuss around around no baby shower, man. I was cool. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't. Okay, I don't I didn't, believe that. No, I, didn't, you, I don't believe that. But okay. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want the fuss, the hoopla, man. I just felt like I. Right, that you know. is very. That, is, that sounds like growth. I don't believe. I had a question. Let me take this up a little bit. 
So let's say per se you get a girl pregnant and it's two pumps. Styles, it's coming up. Go ahead. Okay, so you you get a girl pregnant, but she tells mm. you up front it's two possible fathers, but she still throws a baby shower. Is it okay for both the potential baby daddies to come? ACL. Hey, hey, ACL. Hey, if I shoot the other baby daddy with my right hand and I'm left handed, does he still get shot? Oh my! I'm asking a real. I'm talking. I'm not about to play. If you think for one second that I am ever ever gonna be at a baby shower with the other potential father looking like a dumbass you got it all twisted it'll hey. never happen see i'm not gonna uh dignify that already respond why are we celebrating her cheating by and possibly being pregnant by two different niggas no pick which one you think it is and that's who's gonna be there because if, if, <laughs> if, you, if you think it's him no, it, can't come and invite fuck no. i'm not going fuck no <laughs> What? Why would I? That, that 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 feels weird as fuck to me. That's like throwing a mother like that, that. Just seems weird. That's like having a championship game with three teams. Cause that's like asking me, okay, can both of y'all be at the hospital when the baby is born? No, motherfucker, no, no, no. Send him, and if they confirm that he's the father, cool. It ain't no point in me going. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm cool. Cause I'm liable to flip your whole I bed over if, my time, or if I waste my time and come up there. I'm liable to flip your whole bed over. I'm just saying. So, send him. You know how back in the day, if if you felt like you had something and you sent your girl to the doctor, yeah, go up there and see what's wrong with us. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it's something like that. No, nah, ain't nothing like that. Cause neither <laughs> one of the situations sound cool. First of all, if you out here doing that shit, you know it's two different dads. But and, she told you up front at the end of the day. And, I'm, and I'm telling you up front, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> well, up front, I'm out. I gotta do an episode this week because I need more opinions. But, I'm, but I'm saying but though, that right mind is gonna be like, oh, you having a baby by me or this nigga? Oh, I'm down with. Okay, let's you. let's take it a step but what, further. Say you don't show up, and then you it is your baby now. You and your family missed out on the baby shower. Apparently, okay. I ain't missing out on shit. Cause let's man, take the step further that, that, that the baby, baby is born and you find out it's not it's not yours. You know what I'm saying? At this point, okay, take it even a step further. The baby three years old, DC, you find out it ain't yours. Are you still gonna kick it with that baby? You've been in this baby life three years. I was there for the baby shower, nigga. You gonna have to catch me three years after that to let me know it ain't mine. I'm not about to be in no, this. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying you but have whose responsibility is it to find out if it's baby? I'm saying, daddy. I'm saying that you have went three years thinking that this kid is yours. Come to find out, it's not. See, true. I was gonna let that. I I, I didn't want to. I, I his analogies. You got to learn that Smash's analogies and the way he tried <laughs> to explain some shit. Be like I'm the weirdest asking, thing you ever heard. I'm asking a question. Like, oh, I got shot. So that's like if I ain't get shot, but I got shot in the left leg, but my right leg was still missing, then I get shot in the right leg. Like, uh, okay, Smash. We're gonna let you have that. Yeah, so see, that's, that's, that's first of all, why are you having sex raw with two dudes? First of all, who why are you always on pussy patrol? That's a good, that's a volunteer. That's a good ass question. What you mean? So, you want a nigga to show up because you had sex with two different dudes, and now we got to play. First of all, that. why are you having sex with a bitch that you're not committed to with a condom? Let's hold you accountable. So, okay, what if first okay, of all, so, we, so your, your premise was say, me and my girl was together, and she said, Oh, she pregnant, and there might be another dude involved. That That's the whole problem. What you mean? See, uh, that's like your nigga, your, your husband coming home and telling you, baby, listen. I, I not only did I have an affair, but she's pregnant. You know what I'm saying? So we got to take care of this kid. It's it's, a, it's another I mean, addition that's, to that's the family. Different for when a guy does it because that's that that that's on him. How you go out because the nigga knew. Yeah, I can see that. See, I'm so I'm so I'm 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 kind of messed up in the situation because CO asked the question and I asked we asked the question back and she trying to put it on us like we fucked up and had sex with two women at the same time and got them both pregnant. This was your pregnant. Hey, you were talking to a man that has been that route. <laughs> Hello, how y'all doing? So y'all like ever- yeah, I'm asking you if you, me and you together, boom, we rock and we together, we've been together, you know, umpteen years, and then you go get pregnant by somebody else or think you pregnant by somebody else. 
I'm wrong for asking you these questions? No. I tell you what, the original, I, this is why I can't talk to y'all. What, uh, uh, what you I mean? have uh, the link is on the way. If it's a possibility that you and him is the baby, uh, the daddy of this baby, are mm -hmm. both y'all showing up to the baby shower? I'm not showing up to the I'm baby shower. I'm showing up to the baby shower. Who answered your question? Fight, I'm fighting okay, this so nigga. The second, shut up talking. So then the second question was, what the fuck was y'all just frustrating me so much? I don't even remember the second question. That was the point. Oh, so okay. The second question is, whose responsibility is it to find out who the daddy is? The daddy or the mom? Uh, the mama, because she was the oh. one laying down, popping her legs open. Okay, that's cool too. But if she told you it was a possibility of both y'all, I feel like out of accountability, both y'all should already get your own test. Fuck no, she gonna get the test because she was the one being irresponsible. You was being irresponsible too. You didn't have no 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 hat on in the game. I thought it was my coochie at the at that time. I thought he was together. So what you mean? Any mama yeah. if, if we together, I gotta do a show because I need I need I need more opinions. In that's no, crazy. you just want a female opinion so they can tell you you're right. And we ain't telling you what you want. So that's no, the problem. I feel like it's not okay for you to go around 18 years knowing that it was a possibility and you never checking. If she already thinks she's a single mom, why is she going to waste her money? She knows it's her baby. Mm. At some mm -hmm. point, you need to hold yourself accountable and take care of your business see if it's your kid or not. If it's not, it's well, not. Well, it's let, me ask you this. let me ask you this. Nah. Does that make it seem like I got a stake in it? Which I do if it's mine. But how is it Incumbent on me to validate her mistake because how do I know it was just one time thing? Exactly. I, but was, how do I know it was a one time thing? It was her mistake because she laid down and did the do and then didn't tell me until a baby came in the picture. You know what I'm saying? She could have told me when the shit had happened, like the next day or some shit. You wait until now that your life is on the line, possibly to say something. So, I think it's on her. She need to go get that test because at this point, I'm no longer interested if the baby is mine or not anyway because, shit, birds of a feather flock together, goddammit. it. That's how I feel about it. You never wanted a baby. You just wanted a nut anyway. I ain't going to say I'm not going to say it all what he just said. If it's not, <laughs> I'm going to take care of it. And I'm not coming to no baby shower. I can guarantee you that because that's just too much. It's too much emotion, too much going on. My family there, his family there. It's a fucking circus. Me and the dude is fighting. It ain't even gonna be a baby shower. We fighting. We throwing blows. We coming to blows. So the so here's my here's here's what I'm saying. The baby shower for me is pointless because why are we both showing up with our families on this joyous occasion and we don't even know who the fuck the daddy is? Like why are we doing this? Why why are we having this circus? Why are we putting ourselves in a situation for more drama, for more animosity? I'm not and I'm having and I'm having my sisters beat our ass. <laughs> soon yeah. as the baby, soon as the we baby, know, me and him are talking about two different things. I'm not, I'm not promoting violence. I'm not doing no violence. I'm just soon not. Soon as the up. baby drop, I'm having my sisters beat our ass. <laughs> Clearly, this is not getting solved because I'm not. It's not going with all that. <laughs> I'm just saying. We're not having two baby showers. Boom. I'm just, we're not having a baby shower until I know what's going on. Like, I just. And don't, don't expect my right. family to show up too for yo, possibly. God damn it. All right. They so ain't coming. Say, hold on. This, this is my show. So let's right. just say the baby comes out not to be yours, but both y'all families and y'all did show up. Do you feel like she should have to return the gifts to the family who baby daddy it wasn't? Return the shit. I feel like if you fucking return the gifts, what you mean? No, I'm saying like if you can't. Okay, so I had sex with Boom. I mean, if you lose the championship, do you keep the trophy? Okay. Okay. First of all, first of all, I think CL CL is we 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 not asking the right question here. CL, carry on with your question before I get to my line of questioning. Okay, so let's say y'all both decided to be adults. Mm -hmm. And y'all came to this baby shower and y'all family bought gifts. Your Styles, it's in your IG. If it's not, okay, if it's not Boom's, I'm not Boom. Why is Boom in my mind? Because if it's he, not. You have had Boom's baby. I'm not about, don't do that. Um, it, if it's Smash's baby, do you feel like she should return all the gifts to. So if it's me and Smash in this equation, that's what you're asking. So if we. Yeah, so it's, we all had a situation. Everybody's mm -hmm. family came to baby shower bought gifts. It turns out that it's smashed, baby. God, that, that, that just feels. Feel, feel, why are we? Why are you trying to invite both families? We don't even know what the situation is. To me, that's a possibility. Feels, 
but it, it's an immature possibility. Like that, that just it seems like an immature thing to do to have a baby shower with two different niggas. And we don't even yeah. know what's going on. Yeah. Me, that's the no, problem. Facebook, it happens. Yeah, but what's gonna problem. happen is how can it happen? What's gonna happen with me is I'm telling you, buddy is not coming out that baby shower unscathed. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't with her. He wasn't with her. Everybody. It don't happy. matter. You not finna come. Okay. I guess depending on where the baby shower is, then it's it's different. If it's at her house, then cool. I'll be at peace. But if it's some shit that I that I initially paid for, like we paid for this this haul month in advance, months in advance. Before you told me, you know what I'm saying, that it's a possibility that the other nigga was finna show up. Okay, cool. He can come. He ain't gonna make it out of that motherfucker though. I'm telling you, like it's going to really be an uh, absentee father somewhere around these parts. <laughs> if it's him, God damn it. He, he, he ain't going to make it. You know what I'm saying? Cause that type of shit right there just speaks on her irresponsibility. Like tell me ahead of time. Like, you know what I'm saying? And men, they say men different. I, I got two kids a month apart. So I know, I know how that situation is and it wasn't pretty. You know what I'm saying? For them or for myself. So it's a it's a fucked up stance to have possibility that this is not your kid. And you done went, you excited. Say this was this man's first kid. And he excited. He done went and brought everything, done, done been to every doctor's appointment, done been been there the whole nine. And then she come out the woodwork. Uh you know, this might not be your baby. It's it's a possibility it's somebody else. So when's the right time to tell you it's a possibility that it's not your kid? When you want me to tell you? In the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> we got my boy Styles. Welcome to House Call, good brother. How you feeling? I'm good. How y'all? What's up, Styles, man? This but is all good. I'm saying is this. When is the right time for me to say that it's a possibility? That's what the question but, is. But see, this is the thing. This is where I'm confused, and this is where I got confused. Hi, Styles. All, let me say hi to you first. Oh, hey, no, 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 no. Thank Absolutely. You, I feel like you're about to attack me, but you can go No, no, no. Never that. Never that. Never that. Never that, Queen. You, never that. I don't want that smoke. But listen, real quick, though. I think that, one, I thought that the two parties involved were adults. Like responsible adults. That's what I thought. So being that we went to the ratchet side where it was like, hold on, maybe it's two people involved. I'm like, wait a minute, two different dudes involved. And now you now, nah, first of all, if there's two dudes involved, I find out I'm not the kid, I want all my shit back. <laughs> I ain't have nothing to do with it. It wasn't me. That's on you. <laughs> it ain't tax season. We're not doing that. So oh. you keep you keeping all the receipts. Yeah, I mean, this is the I'm gonna take care of mine. That exactly. you can't you can't tell me to be responsible, but then that's all encompassing. I'm responsible for me and him. What the fuck is that and, all about? And that's the, that's what I'm talking about. Like, how how am I supposed? How are you mad at me because you come to me and be like, "Oh, I'm having a baby. It could be yours, but it could be this one over here." There ain't no mad at me. There's no <laughs> mad at me. I couldn't get pregnant by two dudes. Pause. It ain't gonna happen. You got pregnant by two dudes. So <laughs> they ain't gonna mad at me. No, she tried to question was, who was she trying to use? She tried to gaslight us into giving her more gifts and bringing our family. There we yeah. go. That's the but word. The, Put that shit on the t-shirt. Back on the up and bring your family and bring gifts. His, no, I'm not. What is his name? Who? You. Who? You. You just said his name twice. What you mean? What is his name? She, she was like, hey, Styles, we going to okay. do this. Oh, I never so, I, Okay, so Styles, the question, <laughs> because they always like to change my question. The question yeah, yeah. is, if it's a possibility for you and another guy, who should, you know what I'm saying, whose responsibility is it to get it tested? I told y'all it was most a possibility for both y'all. So why is it my responsibility to pay for both of y'all paternity tests? That sounds crazy. Nah, I don't. I, all right. So first, this is the thing. You're, you're, the, you're the common denominator. So basically, mm. you're Obviously, you're the person that knew everything. Niggas didn't know nothing. You but knew everything. You know whose responsibility is it? Please don't change my question. No, I'm not. I'm not even trying to do that to you. What I'm saying is that <laughs> it's your it's everybody's responsibility if you're all adults. I'm yeah. a, you know, I'm I'm a um, able bodied adult, so I want to know. You understand what I'm saying? But as far as like the baby shower, that should cancel. You better wait okay. till you get a paternity. So I gotta, There's I gotta, no baby shower. I got a question for all of y'all, fellas, the fellas especially. So come to find out that the other dude is the father. 
but he wants nothing to do with the woman or the baby. Do you step up in that situation? That ain't your business. <laughs> well, all right. So from my perspective is this, right? Um, it depends on how deep me and the chick was or the woman, pardon. Uh-oh. Yeah, me and me and a woman were. If we was, you know, we was in it, whatever, whatever. Yeah, I can't I can't just step away like that. I'm not gonna fuck with her like that, but I'm gonna definitely, you know, assist with it. Wait, is the kid here? The kid is here or no? The kid isn't the kid is here. Oh, okay. But you find out you're not the father, the when? other dude is when. After the baby got here. Right. right after, I know, but how long? After, how long? I need I need an after attachment. After the baby was born. Let's say a month, four weeks. Let's say a month. I don't and, think I'm going and, anywhere. And, and the father, and she has already let it be known, okay, you are not the father he is, but he already has stated that he wants nothing to do with me or the baby. Do you keep going? Not with the chick, but I'll, I'll definitely assist with the kid, but I'm not going to do it with the chick. Because that's the ultimate betrayal. What the fuck are we talking about? Like, I don't even... All right, I'm a man of a certain age. I, I, I don't understand the kid shit. I, that I don't understand. You understand okay. what I'm saying? You jump out the window, you go fuck another dude. Now we on some BET special. We ain't doing that. <laughs> what we doing? So this, I guess y'all wondering how we got here. <laughs> All right, but listen, I got to listen. I got a meeting. I got to jump off real quick. CC, it was a pleasure. All right. Oh, uh, we'll talk again because <laughs> I, I'm on your ass. Oh me? Uh, yes. Oh no, nah, you don't want this smoke. I'm from New York. Bye. <laughs> hey, but you know, you know, it, it worked like that, you know. It be like that. All right, listen. All go third on the paternity test if we not Ooh. sure. If baby Who dad. going third on what? All three of us. I baby, got me. Hey, hey, baby, let me explain something to you. Don't call me baby. <laughs> that that really made me uncomfortable. I don't give a fuck. This my show. But anyway. Let me explain something to you. If you think I'm finna chip in on, on your mistake, you got me fucked up. I said let's do it three ways. So that I way feel it's like it's I feel like it's between you and that nigga since y'all interfered and he took my yeah. leftovers. And so yeah, y'all figure that shit out and let me know how the results happen. Because you really don't need both yeah. niggas to get tested. You just need one. You don't need both of us to go get tested. One nigga. Ah, you are not the father. Okay, then it's me. No, it bro, me. she came. Hey, bro. Yeah, she. Yeah, yeah, bro. She came with us. Like, so, what if your girl got pregnant, but she ain't know if it was you or another guy? Uh, would could, should both of y'all bring y'all families to the baby shower? Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. DC, if if it's a possibility, it's me or you. Only one of us need to go get tested. Oh, you got it. I'm broke. I'm unemployed. You know what I'm saying? I'm now, broke. if it comes down that we both go get tested, neither one of us is the father. Oh. <laughs> See, I, I, so, to, like I said, man, the first part. Yeah. See, yeah, I mean, that part, yeah, I can feel that. If he go get tested, she be like, yeah, it wasn't his. Then I'll go get tested. And then if it ain't mine, you definitely on your own. I know. I know. She ain't on her own. My sister's in them pulling up. <laughs> like, all I know is I'm not bringing my family to a baby Boom shop said, don't matter I only take care of the kids that came before mine my boy Raw is in the building he said nah you might still need both of y'all to get tested nah fuck that only one Miss Cobb says you do need to get tested because what if it's not yours either no because listen we not doing a Maury case God damn it. We're not doing that. I'm not. Listen. And I would still probably do the right thing and send that kid a birthday card every year or some shit. Uh, you know, <laughs> from his almost dad. I, I thought I was your dad, but I'm not your dad. So yeah, here's a gift. This whole situation, man. <laughs> I, I, I won't do it. Like I said, I'm not bringing my family to a baby shower and we don't know who. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That 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 part of the question blew my mind because like why my would you boy Eric in the building? What up? I just I'm not we not doing no joint baby showers out here. This ain't definitely no. not doing a joint baby shower because I told y'all, dude wouldn't make it. We beat I, his. I ain't gonna worry about that because I ain't beating. It ain't cake. 
and she do the gender reveal, that's when we beating dude ass. Like when you know how the balloon and the balloon and the color pop out, we taking that as a sign to beat dude ass right after the gender reveal. Because everything before the gender reveal is supposed to be precious and loving and all that. Once that gender reveal hit, we beating his ass right then and there. That's the sign. <laughs> I ain't, ain't got to worry about that. I'm not going. It's just not happening. <laughs> I'm not wasting my time fighting. I'm not for what? What's the point of fighting? Like what is? Because you was in love, man. You loved her. That's cool, but he ain't had shit to do with it. Because she probably ain't even tell him about you, nigga. You was just another nigga. You could have called and your name said Harold. He probably <laughs> had your real name in the phone when the nigga called. So that's what I'm saying. Like you get mad at him. For something he didn't probably even know about. See, that's the problem. Like, so that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm gonna remove myself from the situation till we figure out what's up. There ain't no way, no way, way in hell. I'm about to sit up here and fight at a baby shower, a joint baby shower at that. Like, you know what I'm saying? You like better that, than me. You better than me because everybody getting their ass with this whole family. It's gonna be that's family that's feud that's for that's real. That's the whole point. That's a whole waste of time. Nigga. I'm from Chicago, nigga. It's family feud for real in this motherfucker. I can dig it. I ain't got to deal with that because I ain't from Chicago. Nigga, I ain't got to defend my name nor honor. Nigga, I'm good. All right, y'all. So listen, words of encouragement. You know what? Matter of fact, I got time for a story real quick. Oh, real shit. quick story time with Smash, right? And I probably told this story before and some people may have heard it. Some have it. Okay. So back in my whole days, because I was out here being managed. Three years ago. Uh, I ended up having two kids on the way around the same time, a month apart. Three years ago. No, them kids are 13 now. We're about oh. to be 13. So it was it was a long time ago. Okay. Now, you know how you're not supposed to put two irate people in the in the same facility and act like everything is gonna be okay? Cool. Nigga, we just went over that. <laughs> So I had two of my kids' mothers in the same building at the same time. It was my birthday. So I felt like, you know... Uh, Happy birthday, nigga. You were stupid. So... So I had both of them in the vicinity at the same time. I thought everything was going to be cool, you know. And I had a plan. My plan was I avoid both of them during the whole shindig. I'll be all right. Cool. Did you invite both of them? I invited both of them. Why the... F so let me ask you this. And one of them actually cooked the food for the shindig or whatever, right? So... Can I ask you a question? <laughs> ask you a question. Because we're not about to go through this whole story without me asking this question. <laughs> so you knew both these women. That's it. You, you about as worse as CL thinking the motherfucker was going to come to a double baby shower. Like, why would you invite both these chicks that don't like you and I rate and then have one cook, and then well, see, that's the thing. That's the thing. They did like me. We, we, they just didn't like each other. So, why the fuck would you have them both in the same place at the same time? Didn't I just tell you what my plan was? I had a game plan. That was a goofy ass plan. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna let you finish <laughs> with the story, and it didn't work, but I'm telling you right now, I'm sure it didn't work. But go ahead. I digress. You got it. Okay. So, not only did that happen, mm -hmm. I had other women that I was dealing with at the oh same time. Nigga, you got to be the, the, the you got to be. Why? <laughs> nigga, why? I don't even know why I keep coming back knowing this nigga gonna tell one of these stories and it's gone. <laughs> so, so you have all these combustible elements going on at this party and I'm just having the time of my life because I'm unbothered. Okay? I'm staying away from you. I'm staying away from you. I don't talk to you because both of them are here. So, so you brought all these women here to be Switzerland. You had all these women here <laughs> so you can hide and, and, and nigga, what you thought you was, Dev Dems, how to be a player? <laughs> no, because I didn't make it that far. I almost got cut at my own party. Crazy, you right? Still got cut. No, it's not crazy. It's <laughs> fucking par for the course. You lucky you didn't get stabbed, my nigga. <laughs> the fact that you are still here breathing to this day, I commend them women for that that level of patience. Because nigga, you should have got cut twice. <laughs> but go ahead, continue. So the moral of the story is no, 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 no,
Mm. Thought. Now, you know, at the time, you know, this was when I was telling you this was a situation when I was saying that they used to drop me off around the corner. When I so this was around that time frame. It was it was the same. Oh my god, man! <laughs> you know what? I should have known that this was probably. <laughs> yeah, I should have known, but you know, pity on me for you know, not putting two together fast. So enough. she figured it out. Like, all right, cool. I see what you want. All right, so she found these rusty ass uh wire cutters. She get a shit to get your ass tetanus, locked jaw and all, nigga. and tried to run up on me in the middle of my party. Uh huh. Little old innocent me, crazy. Nigga, right? shut, up, shut what they call the fuck up, saying that goofy ass shit, nigga. There ain't nothing innocent. Nigga. All the stories you done told, nigga. I told you it ain't the women. It's you, nigga. You the toxic denominator. <laughs> so the toxic Avenger, <laughs> Captain Toxic. So I almost got cut. Um, black toxic. More of the story is later. No no no, 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 no. You don't get to say the more of the goddamn story. The more of the story is don't do what this nigga do. The fact that you thought that shit would might might have a possibility of uh, a one percent chance of working. Shame on you. <laughs> that that shit was goofy. I mean, I th- listen. I thought I was smooth, suave back then, man. I I thought it would have worked, man. Listen, I after thought hearing it- some of these stories, you was as smooth as motherfucking yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but after the party, I still felt like I was a real nigga because I survived. Okay, so, so the cops walked you to the school to the to the to the bus. He thought you was a real nigga. You 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 got out of there alive. He thought, oh, nigga, I don't think you know the definition of a real nigga because some of these situations you put yourself in is real dumb, some dumb ass shit. Now, nigga, you, like, you might be one of the the worst niggas to get in the moral stories from in the history of history. Like, I don't know how you thought that shit was supposed to be cool. But I, I just couldn't, for the love of God, understood how I ended up in this situation with two vindictive baby mamas. Like, what did I do that was so... You, you can't believe that's the shit you say. You can't believe half the shit you just said right there. I, I, I He can't. Because ain't no way in hell I know I got two motherfuckers that don't like each other. Why, unless I knew it was going to be on site, why would I invite them? And that's what I wanted. So if one, I of paid, one of them paid for the party and one of them paid for the food. So I couldn't uninvite either one of them, bro. Shit. You, know hey, you better order some pizzas. They both contributed to the cause. So I couldn't. The fact that you let them to tr- tr- contribute to the cause knowing it was going to be some fuck shit, that's on you. You just had a baby with two women and you should have paid for the DNA. Here's the thing. The babies wasn't here yet. Oh no no no! You the CL in this situation. The situation CL talked about earlier—that's you now. The babies wasn't here yet. They were still no very much pregnant. Ass, <laughs> you gotta pay for the DNA test. Like what the fuck? Who does some goofy ass shit like that? Like why? Why would you think that was cool? Like how? Who? <laughs> like you? Was you sitting down when you had this brilliant dumbass idea? Or was you like walking around? With headphones on, like a motherfucking iPod. Like, what the fuck were you doing when you? I was, I was definitely sit. I was chilling, bro. I was sitting in my throne. I was relaxing. I thought, like you know, what I'm saying, this was my moment. This was, you know, when, when how people, long? How long did you have this thought that it was going? You know work? how when people feel like they have a this is my thriller moment, like Michael Jackson thought Thriller was his greatest work ever. This, this is what I felt work. like. Nah, no, 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 nigga. No, nah, this was a Rick Ross disc. That shit was horrible. That shit was stupid. There's no way in hell you thought that you literally thought that shit was gonna work. There's no way you could have thought that shit was gonna work and think it was a good idea. Like, there's no way you you was delusional. You was delusional as fuck. I mean, I mean, but we here. We here now. Thirteen years. We here. We made it. You, yeah, yeah, I guess. Hey, man, you got blood. God blessed you, brother. He said it wasn't your time, but you doing some stupid shit. You playing with fire. All right, man. You got some words of encouragement for the good people before we go ahead on and wrap this up. For the love of God, people, (laughs) if you don't do anything or take anything away from this shit, please do not listen to nothing that nigga say and think that shit is going to work. We have had example after example. If this was a court of law, this nigga will be under the jail. This nigga, (laughs) if this nigga had to put himself on trial and defend himself, he can't. We done heard story after story where this nigga did some goofy shit and thought he was, and thought he was cool. Thought he was getting off scot-free. 
He left his phone at home, went to a house. He ain't know nothing about the girl like that. Hey, man. I right, listen. My words of encouragement tonight. Last week, we lost in a real American hero. You know, so I just want to say, put your knives up in the air for OJ one time. You know what I'm saying? Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense that that was your hero. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks all the fucking world. I said he was an he was an American hero. I didn't say he was my hero. I said he was an American hero. All right. He didn't so, finish an American hero. You know, huh? He didn't finish an American hero. Hey man, don't disrespect, you know, OG killer like that, okay? All right. You like it, man. It's cool. <laughs> so put your knives up for OJ, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh drop some knives in the comments. You know, let let it let them know that we with them, and, and you know, salute to him up there in the heaven up there above. You know, shout out to him. Um, wow. my other word, my other words, <laughs> my other words of encouragement is this: y'all got to inbox my man Darius DC and Please tell start. him yes, come come rock with Big Smash every week for these story times because. I don't it's even know why I, I don't even know I did it today. Like I was, seriously when I seen you, I was like, God damn. <laughs> hey man, listen. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta test the waters. Okay. There's a sign calling you. Your calling is calling you. So if your calling is telling you to throw a party and invite the ones that love you and make them get along just for that one moment, then do that shit. Okay? Or, or, or don't and live to see another day, maybe. Shout out to Moon, man. Yeah. You put a nice <laughs> for up. Okay, I'm confused by that, but all right. She's getting out of hand. <laughs> so I think it's a cannibal. Oh, um, <laughs> listen, tomorrow. Tomorrow's topic, right? We're gonna be talking about household structure. Oh shit. My man Boom dropped an interesting post today, and I felt like, yes, this is what I've been waiting on. We need to talk about it. Household structure. That's mm -hmm. the man, that's the woman, that's the kids, that's the dog. Okay. Are you qualified oh. to have this conversation? Let Definitely qualified. You certified. I, I run a I run a I run an eleven-person household, and I do it so flawlessly. Okay, so mm. I'm good. All right, hey man, I believe you. Yo. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> Listen, man, tomorrow we live. We back at it. Y'all know what it is. Seven o'clock Central Time. Come tap in with Big Smash. I'm gonna try to get DC to come back. So, yeah, you know, man. I think my dog died yesterday in the day, so I might not be able to make it. We gonna get I'm boom sorry. up here. You know, CL, CL is a rude ass person, man. She just left in the middle of the show. She had a barking dog in my show. Just, just all out rude. That's a 50 cent fine next time I see you, Miss CL. But listen, man, we appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Shout out to everybody in the comments. I'm going to come after the show and respond to every last one of y'all comments. You know, because we care about our people that comment over here at Bat the House. You know, I don't know about what shit podcast, you know, because they like to cut you off and take you off screen and shit over there on that platform. But listen. Hey, we only we only stop the ignorance from being spread around this world. Somebody got to be a gatekeeper of ignorance. And I'm trying to be that nigga because I refuse to keep letting this ignorance stand in the world. Like we somebody sooner or later, <laughs> ignorance got to die. Like we can't just keep being ignorant and oblivious. Like sooner or later this shit got to die. Like ignorance is killing a lot of people's fucking uh, <laughs> Y'all already know what it is, man. We'll catch y'all.